in southeast Vietnam, about three hours away from Ho Chi Minh City on Joe's Dragon Fruit Plantation. We have 4,000 plants around us. Since 1987, Joe has been growing the white dragon fruit, and just for a few years, he started growing the red dragon fruit. My favorite is the red. Uh, the flavor of the red fruit is so much more pronounced, and of course, the color is so intense. It has to be really good. While we're here, I thought I'd take you on a tour and show you the various growing stages the dragon fruit goes through, and then. When we get back to California, we're gonna take the dragon fruit and we're gonna cut it open and we're gonna take the juice and we're gonna run it on HPLC. And we're gonna find out just what kinds of antioxidants are in it. That's the exciting part. Because those antioxidants are probably really good for you. All of its color and its awesome flavor is probably gonna be very popular in the next few years. So here we can see the babies and there's three on this strand. Now, they don't want three, so eventually the farmer, Joe, will cut one or two of these off so that we get the nice big fruit. It's amazing that in 50 days, the fruit will grow that fast and that big and ready to harvest. Now, let's go take a look at a flower. Beautiful flower right here, very well defined. And this is the perfect situation right here for the farmer. He only wants two fruits per strand. You can see this is exactly how they want it. When the flower is done blooming and they know that it's pollinated, they cut it and this is what you have. And uh, if you can bring the camera closer, you can see they've cut that flower off and now we have a well-defined fruit. So how can we tell the difference between the red fruit and the white fruit? It's very simple. When the tips of the dragon fruit are dark color, this is going to be the red fruit. You can see the darkness. If it's white fruit on the inside, then the tips will be green all the way across. So you can see this is going to be the red fruit. We have here the uh, fruit that's starting to ripen. As green as it is, and it has a little bit of pink in it, only has four more days and it'll turn bright red and be ready to pick. And I can feel it's very heavy. This one is a, a much larger fruit, maybe two pounds. So uh, various stages of the ripening process, but it's amazing to see that it, even in this color, it's almost ready to eat. Yum. Okay, so we're on another part of uh, Joe's farm and we're gonna cut some dragon fruit. So reach underneath and uh, try to get those close without cutting the leaf. Maybe we should have Joe cut this one. Joe, you cut. <laughs> Show me the right way. I don't wanna hurt the plant. Ah, ah, very good. Okay, my turn. I learned quickly. So Joe is uh, so nice to allow us to come and help him harvest the red dragon fruit. Wait till you see the inside of this. Now we're back at Farmer Joe's uh, farmhouse and he's uh, taken some fresh fruit. This is beautiful fruit. This is what I'm talking about, right? This is bright red, uh, not like the white fruit. We're gonna look at the white fruit in a minute. You can see the, the contrast, very different. And, and when we pour the juice, you can see the color is absolutely beautiful. And we can get this back in the United States. I think people will absolutely love this. He's cutting the white fruit now. And you can see it's also very beautiful. Look, there's nothing wrong with the white fruit except it doesn't have a lot of flavor. Uh, but visually, it's very attractive. So we take a look at the, the two different contrasts here. You know, you see this for the first time. If you're adventurous like I am, the flavor guy, I always want to try something new. You try this one, you say, ah, this is pretty cool looking. I've never seen it before. But you're kind of waiting around for the flavor to happen and it just doesn't come. And then 10 years later, you try this. Unbelievable. Wow. Mm. So good. I'm not eating dinner tonight. And so for me, my preference is for the red fruit. I'm sure you'll agree, when you try the red fruit, you will absolutely love it. Mm, cheers. Cheers, my friend. Thank you so much. So Joe has been so kind to allow us uh, to walk on his farm, his plantation. And we just want to say thank you, Joe. We really appreciate uh, you allowing us to walk on his farm.
ก้าวไปไหนใช่ใช่เม็กซิโกเม็กซิโกเกิร์ล